All right, today I woke up to like some sort of like news report or whatever. So we're going to be looking up this uh, whole Microsoft thing. So Microsoft is going to buy pretty much Activision Blizzard for 75 billion. Some of them say 68.7 billion. Um, the deal is likely to face close anti-stress sc scrutiny I don't know what this means I don't really care Wall Street Journal don't even pay attention to them um, all I know is that Microsoft is owning uh, pretty much Activision Blizzard games that's gonna be crazy now if you don't know I think the first time and you know I actually thought the Bethesda deal was probably crazy so Microsoft bought Bethesda and uh, they bought it for 10.5 billion. I thought that was a lot of money. And they're trying to pay 68 for Activision Blizzard. Now, if you guys don't remember, they also bought Minecraft for 2.5 billion. Now, I think Minecraft was probably their best, their best acquisition, as this game is popular and for some reason will not die. I don't understand it, but I guess it's super popular amongst kids that are growing up. But Desta, on the other hand, I don't know, man. Fallout might be popular amongst people in Skyrim, but I, I can't see this, this franchise be as big. But now that they're trying to buy Call of Duty, it just, it's just crazy. $68.7 billion. You guys, do you guys not know what that means? That's like, I don't even know enough percentage of that money I don't even own any of that close to that Look, man I'm probably if I had to buy part of that deal I'd probably be paying 0 0.0000001 percent and probably even extra zeros maybe I'm just being too generous on how much that's a lot of money that's what I'm trying to say now the thing is Call of Duty I don't think is that great of a pretty much franchise it hasn't been the same for quite a while uh, the one game that you're seeing me play right here is Black Ops 2 I enjoy the heck out of this game and to be honest I think this is the only game I could go back and have fun that's some of the newer ones now I don't want to be a hater so I will say I did play Warzone and I personally thought Warzone was really good um, I didn't play the the regular multiplayer I only played the free one that they gave on the PlayStation 4 the Battle Royale version and I personally thought it was great I think the game was solid I didn't think it was that bad but Call of Duty honestly they just don't know what to do with their product they just they have to make a new game every year for some odd reason and I don't think they really care once a new game comes out the, the previous game from the previous year might be hack or buggy and they won't really give a crap because they always focus on the newer game uh, Microsoft trying to buy uh, Activision and Blizzard is not just Call of Duty by the way you do you also got Overwatch you also got like World of Warcraft you got a lot of games in that deal so a lot of people are pretty much saying uh, <laughs> Call of Duty but in all honesty there's a whole library of games that Microsoft will have but if you guys don't remember, they also bought Rare many years ago, and they didn't release anything on it. They did just pretty much sat on the on the company, and literally a bunch of people from the company of Rare were pretty much quit. Um, and eventually, they would make Killer Instinct a couple years after they owned the franchise, but they didn't do anything good with the franchise. I don't know what Microsoft is doing. I don't know if they're going to do anything with their uh, with their acquisitions. Minecraft, when they bought it, Minecraft is Minecraft. Let's be honest here. There's not much to do with it. Just update it, and that's it. They didn't have to like re-release. It was just one game f from one company. Um, oh, they also made Minecraft Dungeons or whatever it was called. So never mind. So they do they they do try to make new stuff, but I still think about the rare rare rareware. Uh, acquisition that they did that pretty much ruined it they didn't really do anything with the company too much so we don't know what they're gonna do with Activision and uh, Blizzard um, 68 billion dollars is a lot of money but at the same time it's like let's be honest when was the last time I bought a Blizzard game 
Last game I bought from Blizzard was Overwatch, and I don't even play that thing anymore. I played it for like less than a year, and I, I was done with it. Um, and the last Activision game that I ever bought was Modern Warfare. No, 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 no. I'm just a lie. I bought Black Ops 2 brand new. That was the last game I ever bought. I'm, I know I bought recently some some used games. I bought some used games from uh, from Call of Duty, but that's not buying them directly from from EA. Or, I mean, from Activision. I don't even know why I said EA. I pretty much bought them used, so Activision isn't getting into that money. Oh yeah, that's where I said it. They're not getting none of that money because I'm buying it used, not brand new. So they're not getting any of it. What do you guys think about this? What do you think about Microsoft buying this whole franchise? It's not going to save Microsoft. I'm not going to go out and buy an Xbox series just because they acquired Activision and Blizzard. Two companies that I don't even play video games from their franchises that much. Uh, like when they come out, I'm not buying any of new, new Blizzard or Activision games anytime soon. And I doubt that will ever happen because their games kind of suck now. All right, I'm out. Peace.